We're going to be live soon. All righty, and we are live. <laughs> All right, and we are live. Hello, and welcome to Live at Epifan, the show all about live streaming. My name is Marta. And my name is Phil. And it is Thursday. It is 3 p.m. Eastern, and it is 12 p.m. Pacific. And we are here in our wonderful Palo Alto office today. Uh, we've got a great show for you. We're going to be talking about Facebook, Facebook Live, the hidden features of Facebook Live. Um, we are always welcoming your comments. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Facebook. So definitely leave some comments. Uh, we would love to interact with you. Comment. Right. Comment. Comment. Um, so quick note about Shark Month. This entire month, we've been streaming using uh, StreamShark, which is a great service, mm -hmm. great CDN. Uh, go check it out. And yeah, uh, we have some, we're going to start with some, kick it off with some news. Phil, I, thought, I heard you had some Facebook Live news. Yeah, yeah. So uh, for news and Facebook Live, or actually this isn't about Facebook Live. This is just industry news in general. Um, we okay. have recently integrated with Kaltura which is uh, a content delivery network for those who do not know, um, which is mostly used by educational institutions. So there you'll find um, lecture recordings or live streams of different lectures uploaded by professors. And um, you know, I really wish that my university had a couple Perl 2s or even oh, used yeah. uh, lecture capture. Um, because you know, you can't always make it to class and That's other true. things take priority. Uh, and you know you don't want to miss lectures and miss important information. So um, you know I already graduated university, so I it's it's all past me now. But it would have um, been really cool. It would have been really useful. Yeah, I definitely could have gotten a lot more information uh, from watching a live lecture rather than you know sitting at home sick in my bed. Cool. So what is what is this integration gonna do? I heard there's scheduling. Yeah. You can you can schedule lectures ahead yeah. of time now. So you'll be able to schedule streams. Uh, whenever they would start and stop, so it actually makes it a lot easier for the professor to do this. You know, they don't have to worry about actually starting the stream and making sure it's going. It should just start automatically, uh, just like just like we do with our live shows. Cool. Yeah. Um, all right. Next topic for news. Uh, there's this really cool movie coming out in December called People's Republic of Desire. Mm. Now, what it's about is. Uh, the director actually followed three of the biggest live streamers in China around for about three years and got a better look at what their lives are like. You know, it's a documentary style film with uh, a Black Mirror-esque kind of edge and um, it should be really entertaining. I'm really looking forward to it and finding out more about China's live streaming industry because it's, uh, it's very different than what it is here. You know, Marta, I'd say that the thing that's live streamed the most here in, in the United States or in North America generally is probably video games. Yeah. Um, and in China, it's a lot of IRL streaming. So people have dedicated followers that watch them eat, watch them, you know, do whatever. Comedy routines. I heard there's a thing where you can buy clothing mm -hmm. right off like the runway. So right. you see models going down the runway. And if you see something you like, you can buy it right away. Yeah. I heard that's a big thing in China. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. Are you going to check out this movie? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I believe it comes out sometime in December in my area, uh, and I'll probably watch it shortly after that. Awesome. Um, next piece of news. So this is a really cool feature that Facebook has recently released. So they actually debuted it a year ago on Giving Tuesday, uh, but they made it live this year on Giving Tuesday. And what it allows you to do is gather all the donations that you get during your live stream, and instead of pocketing them, you can donate them directly to a charity of your choice. Um, so this is really cool for people that actually earn a lot of money live streaming and aren't necessarily interested in this money. They can choose a charity which they want to donate it to. Mm. Um, just to name a couple that are, are listed there, uh, Autism Speaks, the uh, Call of Duty Endowment, uh, the Humane Society in the United States, St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital are among the, the most popular ones. Now, this is only available to creators in the U.S. as of right now, but I assume they are going to release it worldwide. So, Facebook is really taking off with gaming, huh? Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, Starting to compete with Twitch. Yeah, I, I remember you, you actually mentioned this earlier that Facebook is almost Twitchifying themselves. <laughs> Twitchifying. I think that's a pretty yeah. interesting, interesting thought. I wonder uh, which one is going to buy the other one, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a really cool piece of news about the uh, donations that you can do now. That's, that's great. Um, so we're actually going to show you how to set this up during this live show because, um, you know, it's hidden in the, or not necessarily hidden, but it's in the uh, Facebook <laughs> right. live features and uh, right. we'll so show you how to do the that. The way we actually kind of came to this topic, remember, Phil, a few episodes ago you were talking about Facebook premieres? Mm -hmm. uh, I really, that was a really, really cool feature. Yeah. Um, can you remind us what, what that yeah, was? Yeah, sure. So uh, Facebook premieres is really interesting. It essentially allows you to upload uh, video on demand and make it look like live video. Uh, so once you do this, you know, a post is see this and it, it shows on the post that we are going live on this page at this time on this day and you have to watch it then and there you can't watch it before or after because you know the premiere will be deleted on Facebook and um, it's yeah I mean it's 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 a really good way to actually promote whatever you are trying to promote whether it's a TV show or a movie or something it really gets people engaged um, where they need to be. Right, so it kind of builds up that hype yeah, uh, beforehand. Exactly. Yes. Um, <laughs> all right, so we're just checking, we're just checking its sound here, and it sounds good. All right, <laughs> I think my mic's batteries are dying. Actually. Oh, <laughs> we apologize for the technical difficulties. Yeah. Here at Palo Alto office, we really like doing things the hard way. The Ottawa office <laughs> is for easy, <laughs> easy <laughs> live streams. Now, our live streams are a bit more interesting than that. We're not looking for easy ways to do this. So <laughs> we apologize. We're going to take just a few seconds to um, replace Phil's batteries. But uh, yeah, uh, Facebook premieres is a really, really cool feature. Um, I, remember, um, I remember there was actually a, a situation where I wanted to see a show. Uh, I wanted, so I, I thought that I'd be able to watch the show afterwards where it was announced as a premiere. Um, and then, so it was like, it was going to be 20, 20 hours ahead, right? So there was a thumbnail that said that the show was going to be coming up in 20 hours. So I assumed, I'm going to watch it tomorrow. It's okay. And when I went back to the page, the video was lo no longer there. So this premiere, so you have to be there, you have to watch it live. Kind of like you had to on TV way back, you know, 20 years ago. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, um, content has almost gone full circle. You know, it started out just like, like Martin mentioned on TV, moved to VOD, now live video, and then it's kind of like back to... Right, like, you know, but you kind of yeah. want that, right? Like, you kind of want that authentic feeling oh, yeah, a definitely. little bit. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Remember those days? I don't know if you remember those days, Phil. <laughs> but <laughs> remember those days where you had to run home to see a TV show? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, I remember. And you, I, I remember calling up my friends when there was a music video on MTV that I liked mm -hmm. because it was on now, yeah. and, like, you had to go and see it. I think it's kind of cool. So I applaud this Facebook premieres feature. I really like it. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we were looking into that feature, and we were playing with Facebook a little bit. And that actually, I found out a lot of new, really cool features about Facebook Live. And I thought it would be interesting to do a show about it. So we're actually going to go through the entire process of going live on, uh, going live on Facebook. and. Um, Maybe you will learn something new as well. Please let us know if these features are also you know, new and interesting for you. Some of them are really obvious, just letting you know right off the bat. Uh, but some of them are actually really, really cool. So let's go ahead and jump in right here if we can switch to my computer right now. We're actually going to go on Facebook and go through the entire process. So you're on Facebook. You want to go live. Uh, you click live video, right? That's the first thing you do. Oh, there I am. Hello. Hey. Uh, you can go live from your uh, phone, obviously, but that's a whole different topic. You can go live from a webcam, which is right there. There it is. And uh, you can also go live using a an encoder, right? And notice, notice how this looks, right, on, on the computer. And then notice the picture that you see using the much nicer camera that we have right over there. Uh, and we're actually streaming right now using one of our pearls. Mm -hmm. So in order to do that, we're actually going to click on the connect, right? We're not going to like actually go live right now, demonstration purposes. But this is the information. I'm going to change all the keys afterwards. Don't worry, guys. Um, 
that you're going to have to enter into your encoder to actually go live. So this is the webcam. We're, let's just keep it on the webcam for now. So um, those, those aren't the only ways you could go live, right? Right. right. So um, you can also go live using our Webcaster X2. Now, this is an encoder that has Facebook's API already integrated with it. So when you power it on and connect it to the network, you'll get a pairing code on the front of the screen where you enter that into facebook.com slash device. And you know, they're linked after that. So you just press the button on the side and you go live. Exactly. Simple so as that. You can plug in your HDMI source right, right in there, mm -hmm. right? So like a nice camera, like the one that we have right there. Right. Um, we're actually going to have a gear list for you guys uh, after the show in the description if you, know, you want to know about any of the gear that we're using here. Mm -hmm. It's going to be right there. All right. So uh, let's see. After we have established you know, where we want to go live from, camera or an encoder, we're going to enter the description. And then after that, you can choose where you want to go live. So you can go live on your timeline. You can go live to a group. Or you can share this live video in an event. And Phil, do you, do you remember if you have to be an admin of a group to, to go live? No, so you actually don't. I've gone live to a couple of groups before where I didn't have admin access. And it, it's actually a really good way of going live because you get more engagement that way. Um, people that are also a part of the group will get a notification saying that, you know, I am going live right now. Mm -hmm. And they're more inclined to tune in and um, watch the live stream. Uh, so I actually see the option to share in a page is not available there. Uh, you that's because I don't have any <laughs> Right, 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 right. Yeah, that's, yes, that's, but yeah, okay. that's the that, point. That's another one. So to be able to go live to a Facebook page, you have to be the admin of that page. You can't just be uh -huh. join okay. the page. All right. Um, that makes sense. So actually, when you, you, you can go live to a page if you're not the admin, but you need the admin's permission first. And mm -hmm. you never really want to rely on other people to be there at the right time to grant you this permission right. if you're going live at a specific time. So it's much easier just to have admin access and just control it all yourself. But if you want to kind of restream an event, mm -hmm. you can also use a service like Switchboard. Remember, we had Rudy here a few weeks ago talking about Switchboard. Uh, it's a service that uh, kind of gives, gives you permission to steal someone else's stream, but like in a legal way. Right, right. So uh, Switchboard is distributing all these streams, uh, and it's asking your Facebook account's permission to go live on your page. So you don't have to be an admin of a page that, that's going live if you're using Switchboard, mm -hmm. which is kind of a cool feature too. All right, so we've determined where we're going live. We know whether we're the admin or not. Okay. Oh, this is that feature you, that you talked about, the nonprofit support. Right, right. So, yeah, if you click that right there, you can actually um, click on the search. Yeah, so see, there's, there's a, mm -hmm. a list of uh, charities which you can choose to donate to. Um, your viewers can, yeah, can donate to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the, the money you collect from your live stream can go directly to mm -hmm. that charity, which is a really great, great thing. So right under the description, you have the different choices. You have your support the nonprofit. You can check in. That's always cool. You can, you can search by uh, location. You can see everyone who's going live from a particular location. We'll actually discuss that a bit later. And then you can also tag people in your posts. That's a really cool way to bump up the viewership. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you, if you tag someone who is with you in the post, it kind of invites them and their friends to join the live stream. And another thing you can do is you can actually invite people during the live show. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're going live on Facebook. You're going to have this option where you can invite viewers to come join you. Which, oh, like another broadcaster? Uh, or what yes. Do you mean? No, I mean, I mean like just, just join, like watch it. Oh, watch, just, I see. Just watch I see, it. I see. The broadcaster, we're definitely going to discuss that. That's a really cool feature. I really mm -hmm. like that. Uh, but no, I mean uh, invite other people to come watch your stream right. to, uh, again, bump up the viewership. Mm -hmm. So after you've chosen all that, um, title for, oh, okay, that makes sense. After, er, oh, actually, another thing I wanted to talk about is this interactive tab right on top. This mm -hmm. is really cool. So in this interactive tab, you can add a poll. And we're actually going to be doing this right now during the live stream. We're going to ask you a very simple question. Where do you go live? Is it Facebook? Is it YouTube? Is it both? Is it Twitch? Is it something else, it something totally, else? that we don't know about, yeah. you know? Kaltura. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, the way this works is that 
you add a question, um, you can do it during the live show, or you can do it um, before. You can prepare these questions in advance. So, for example, um, we're going to ask, where do you go live? And then you prepare your answers right here. How many? Okay, four options is the max. So, so we can't ask all the, we can't list all the CDNs. Right, right, right. Um, but, um, and then during the live show, uh, the broadcaster is going to see an option, um, make poll go live. Mm -hmm. right? He's going to have a list of all those polls right there. Make poll go live. And then people are going to be able to vote. This is a really cool thing if you want to create a quiz show. So you can have a live quiz show with the like questions right there. Right. Or you can gather some important information. So we're going to be gathering very important information <laughs> where you guys are going live. If you're, on, if you're watching on YouTube, hop on over to Facebook and vote. We're going to announce the results at the end. Yep. This is just for fun, you guys. This is just a demonstration. So that's the polls feature. Um, let's see. So another thing we want to discuss is the settings tab. Mm -hmm. right? So in the settings tab, you have live video. And these are actually, actually kind of cool. I never noticed this little, these uh, little boxes that you can check it and check. We've been talking about this. Allow, or, allow viewers to rewind. So if you uncheck this box, your stream becomes like gold. So <laughs> you either have to be there and watch it live, or oh, you also have to uncheck the box. Oh, check the box, unpublish after video ends. So that's it. Yeah. Once, once it's done, it's done. You can't rewind and you can't rewatch it. It's kind of like premieres, but using these check boxes right here. Now, the best way for this to work is to seriously tell your viewers that your stream is only going to be live oh, during yeah. this one time. Oh, yeah. you know, if you just do that randomly, it's just going to leave a lot of people upset. Yeah, you so have to tell them in advance. Promote this, and hype. it, will, it will work. Build hype. Oh, yeah. Maybe for our next live show, we should do this. Yeah, maybe we should. <laughs> um, all right, so you have other options like allow embedding. This will uh, let other people embed your stream onto their site, which is a um, pretty important feature. Mm -hmm. um, so I really like this tab, the 360 video one. Okay. This is really cool. So um, I don't know if you've guys seen these webcasts or broadcasts where there's a spherical video, and you can actually scroll through it. I think we have an example somewhere somewhere around here. Okay, so yeah, right now on YouTube I have opened this video and it was a live stream, right? So it streamed live, right, on October 24. Mm -hmm. And so what you can do is you can actually pan around the entire video while it's live. Isn't that cool? That's wild, It's kind yeah. of freaky. So, but you need a special camera for that, mm -hmm. right? So you need a camera like this Rico, for example, that you place kind of in the middle of the room and you also need to tell Facebook, of course, which kind you're using, right? So it knows how to wrap it around correctly. Oh, okay, yeah, wow. Well, oh, there's right? like 180 video Yeah, there's there. 180. You don't have 3D. to do full 360. Wow. Um, a few, like a few weeks ago, I went to this expo. This is really cool. And one of the things that they had, it was a C CNT expo, which is Creative uh, Talent Network Expo. They had a whole room dedicated to VR. Now, I'm not a huge fan of VR. It makes me puke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't sense. handle it. But they have this really cool um, new feature there from Facebook, actually. They have this app. It's called Quill. I'm actually going to I have it open right here on my computer. So what Quill is, is it's kind of like Photoshop in 3D, mm -hmm. in VR. So you put on this headset, and you can use these two controllers, right? kind of model your reality. It's oh, wow. really cool. And so there was this whole experience. It was called, gosh, I don't remember what it's, what, what is it called? The Last Oasis, that's what it was. So um, you, you would put on the headset, you're in this completely empty room, and you would do this walkthrough, right? It looks ridiculous from the outside, by the way, because, so you're going in, and the, there are all these spaces that you can like crawl in, so you have to get on all fours and crawl through them. Now, the coolest thing is that it feels real. Even though it's drawn, and you can see here, it's clearly drawn, it's clearly an animation, um, it still feels awesome. Like, it doesn't make you want to puke. <laughs> I think part of the reason for that is because they were using um, the Oculus Quest, which is the new untethered type of eyewear. Mm -hmm. And so it feels, it, feels, um, it feels awesome. You guys, everyone should try this. 
I'm not a fan of VR at all. I, I changed my mind. Um, so you can, I think you can also live stream from your uh, Oculus mm -hmm. right into here if, 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 that, if that's what you connect. I'm right. guessing through an encoder as well. Yeah, right? must be, yeah. Yeah, so I, I um, guys, I highly recommend this. This is really cool. Quill by Facebook. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is not a paid ad. I just, I just, I just really liked it. It's really, really cool. Um, so that's uh, as far as 360 video goes. What's that gaming tab there? The gaming tab. What is that? Phil, you know more about gaming. What is this? <laughs> yeah, I, okay, so this just seems like it's just a, a tag. So you can just tag whatever game you're playing and people will be able to find it easier and join your live stream easier if they're looking for that specific game. But that, that doesn't seem like it's uh, like too, too cool. It's just like Well, Facebook is really going for Twitch, aren't they? Yeah, they're, yeah, they, they they're, really they're are. They're vicious. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so we've gone through all the tabs. And I think pretty much we have all these settings figured out. We can technically say that we can go live now. We're not going to mm -hmm. do that right now. Um, but one of the really cool features, Phil, you mentioned this earlier, the invite a broadcaster into your stream feature. Right, yeah. So it turns out that on Facebook Live, you can actually invite another person into your broadcast. They're, they're going to appear as a picture in picture mm -hmm. during your live broadcast. The only catch here is that you can only do it from your phone or a tablet. Right, right, right. So right. we can't do it right now on this computer. We can't show that. Unfortunately, it would be really cool. I think I read somewhere that the person actually has to be watching your live stream for you to be able to invite them. Right. So if you're not like logged into Facebook or actively browsing, then you can't get invited to watch a live stream. You actually have to be in the person's live stream. Right. Oh, you got a video. Up All right. Actually. So I have I found a video of um, this wonderful cowboy <laughs> um, who is actually demonstrating how this is done. So here you see you see the reaction. That's all, that's always nice to see, like people giving you likes. By the way, like, comment. <laughs> we always like to see that. Yeah. Um, and so this is this is how it happens. Um, you the person who is going to be joining your stream has to be in the stream as you've mentioned, and then there's an uh, there's a button that appears that says there we go invite invite to broadcast inviting, and so this person is actually going to appear in his live stream. We tried doing this with Phil before. Mm -hmm. We tried using the iPad. It, we really wanted to show it to you guys as well. It was just a little bit laggy on the iPad, so we, we're going to watch you. We're going to show you a video instead. So this guest is watching the live stream. He's going to appear right, right now. Any minute, where is he? There he is. Okay, there we go. So you can have two people on your live show. You can do an interview. Once you're done, you can kick that person out and invite the other person in. Yeah. And. I heard that you can do it on Instagram as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can That's actually. Feature. Yeah, I've I've seen live videos on Instagram with multiple people in it. Well, but this is only two, right? Mm -hmm. I think Instagram you can do more. You can do if more. I'm not mistaken. That's cool. Well, I'm glad that Facebook finally did this. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping it comes to desktop as well because I'm more of a desktop user. And maybe we can do it on during one of our live shows. Yeah, well. that would be super cool. Yeah. Um, speaking of comments, do do we have any comments? Right now, that we can, or questions that we can answer. <laughs> All right, guys, keep commenting. We're waiting for your questions. We will we'll try to answer them. Give us likes. All right, so we've covered that feature. Um, and okay, so we've basically covered all the features that relate to actually going live on Facebook. But there's another cool page on Facebook that I found that I just really enjoy. Mm -hmm. So it's called Facebook uh, Live Map. So it actually, it's kind of broken down into two pages. One of them is called Discover, right? And it actually shows you all the live streams that are going on right now. So you can find something to watch that you like that is live right now, that is immediate and very important, and you can say that you were there to see it live. So this is just a great page for discovering content. But even cooler than that is the live map. I just, I love this thing. Let's see if we can find ourselves. So this is pretty self-explanatory, right? So it's a, it's a map of all the places that are live right now. And the bigger the circle, the more viewers there are. And you can see these really neat lines that point to where this stream is watched the most. So for example, this ABC7 Chicago stream is watched all over the place in California, in Canada, Florida, in Texas. Mexico. Yeah. 
And then let's see if we can if we can find us. I really oh. hope we can. Oh, oh. Is that us? Uh, no, nah, that's not. That one's too big. Um, Who is okay. that? Let's see. ABC News. ABC News. Well, we're almost as big as ABC News, but <laughs> with less sound problems. Yeah. Um, no, we can't see us. Oh, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Palo Alto. Is this Palo Alto or is this Palo Alto? No. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on, Facebook. Nope, oh, no. that's not us. Oh, uh, it's it a bummer. I really wanted, I really was hoping for a dot and, and, it, and it would be us. Maybe it'll be there. You want to refresh it? Sure, let's do it. Yeah, this feature is super cool. I always like checking out um, where people are actually watching certain live streams. It's really interesting to see. I remember we were looking at this live map earlier and we saw um, a soccer game being streamed and you could see like a lot of people from South America watching it. Oh, yeah. So we thought like yeah. maybe, you know, they were actually, like that content was blocked in that specific country and they were getting around it by just watching it on Facebook. Um, Maybe we didn't list our location and that's why. Remember oh. we, didn't, we didn't check in the location? Oh, Maybe that's okay, why. okay, maybe. Yeah, but still, I yeah. mean, I, I, I love this thing. It's, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, uh, check it out guys, it's, it's really awesome. So I think that that's about it for all the live Facebook Live features that we want to cover today. Any questions or comments at all? We're also going to uh, post the results of our, of our poll right now. So right now in the Facebook Live video, uh, the poll should turn into results where you can see how many people voted, how they voted, and all of that. Oh, more dots are appearing. Okay, guys, um, let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we're going to try to answer them. Uh, again, the gear list and all the links that we've used on this show are going to be below. Definitely check out the, the Quill experience. If you have a chance to check it out live, check it out live. It's really, really cool. Uh, live stream it. Show us. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for our show for today. Any questions? How do you list your location? Oh, that was actually in this. Um, so the question was, how do you list yes, your location? Yes, yes, yes. So the way you list your location is when you go live, there's this bubble right mm -hmm. here that's called check-in. Uh, and I'm, I'm assuming if you, if you check your location, then it's going to appear on the live right, map. Right, 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 right. So yeah, yeah, California, that's our location. I wonder where, <laughs> that's where like, we are. <laughs> where's that dot going to be? Yeah, right. It's California. <laughs> yeah. One big dot. All right. Um, well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for joining us. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments below, and we will work on answering them later. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching. My name is Phil. And I'm Marta. And this was live at Epifan. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>